Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are making some homemade gummies for dogs and they are for 4th of July because they have the red, the white, and the kind of bluish purple. We're, we're using that for colors, you can't get blue. But anyways, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for both the red and blue layers, which are made with strawberries and blackberries, um, it's the exact same process. So you wanna get some frozen berries that have like already come frozen and thaw them overnight. And the reason that we're doing this is because frozen berries seem to just have like a lot more pigment in them than fresh berries. So I don't understand why, but we want to add as much pigment as we can to these gummies. And I want it to be natural because I don't want to harm my dogs. So um, I really recommend using frozen ones. So you want to grab them in a bag. They're also way cheaper this way. And then defrost them overnight. So you have thawed frozen berries um, and pop them into a food processor and pulse until they're completely liquid. Then press them through a mesh sieve or a cheesecloth so that you separate the juice from the pulp and the seeds. We're not using the pulp and the seeds in this video. Um, you can like eat them yourself on top of like ice cream or yogurt. We just want the juice for this recipe. Then pour the berry juice into a bowl and then just set that aside and combine some gelatin and some water in a small bowl and microwave for 15 to 30 seconds or until the gelatin has melted. So we are using Knox powder gelatin. This is unflavored, unsweetened, un anything. Um, don't use Jello because it has additives and sweeteners and artificial sweeteners are so poisonous for dogs. So I'll link the gelatin that I use down below if you want to pick it up. Then add the gelatin mixture to the juice, mix well, and then set that aside while you make the other layers. So for the white layer, you wanna combine some Greek yogurt and a quarter cup of water in a bowl. So I'm using plain 2% unsweetened Greek yogurt. This is the best kind. Don't use vanilla because you don't know what kind of sweeteners they're using. Just plain and full fat because again, there are sometimes additives added when you have like low fat yogurt. So full fat is best. If they're not eating too much of it, it's fine. Then repeat the gelatin step for this layer as well. So combine some gelatin and water in a small bowl microwave for 15 to 30 seconds and then add this to the yogurt mixture and mix until combined. So then to assemble your candy, your puppy candy, um, grab a silicone mold. So I use stars because of 4th of July, but it is, it was really actually really hard to unmold them. So um, I'll link some other ones down below, maybe some like differently shaped stars so that it's easier for you. Um, but anything, any kind of silicone mold or ice cube tray would work. So first we're going to pour the blue layer a third of the way into each little shape, cube, crevice, I never know what to call it, uh, and pop this into the fridge until it's set for about 20 minutes. Then repeat with the white layer, pouring it in until there's about a third of the space remaining in the mold, and then chill for 20 minutes again. And then repeat with the strawberry layer, um, and then pop it into the fridge for four hours or up to overnight. So when you're layering it, you just wanna wait long enough so that the layer below what you're gonna be pouring on is set so that when you pour it in, like the colors don't mix um, and then give it like a final long set in the fridge and you are done. So these can be stored in a plastic storage container in the fridge for up to a week. I'll be doing that and giving it to my dogs whenever they go potty in the right spot and they have been loving it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked the video. Paddington definitely liked call it treats cookies. Did you like your gummy? Yeah. He loved them so much. Treacle is actually obsessed with them, but um, in the video, Paddington is a bit of a hog, so she couldn't get at them, and um, she tried to eat one too quickly, and then this happened. This is what, what happens. She eats, she like tries to swallow, then she realizes it's too big, so she just like throws it back up. Um, yeah. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I had to show you um, but um, afterwards she had some and she enjoyed it and they love it very much so I hope that your dog will like these too um, and if you're curious yes dogs can have gelatin but they can't have jello um, I'm pretty sure I said this during the video <laughs> um, um, but yeah because jello can have artificial sweeteners and dogs can't have artificial artificial sweeteners um, so pure gelatin is the way to go and I'll link it down below again so that you can pick it up but yes thank you guys so much for watching we hope you like Paddington Pantry if you'd like to follow Paddington or Treacle they are on social media so you can see them all the time they are at Paddington Palm and at Treacle Palm and we would love so much if you could follow them do you 
have anything to say? No, you can't be. Thank you, Mormon Katie. Uh, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!